Hello, James Hickey here. I'm a local business marketing expert. I'm with the Internet Marketing Training Center, and I'm going to cover three steps for success with online marketing. So let me get right into it. So placement. Placement is one of the most important things when you are trying to generate lead sales, get new clients from, from the Internet. And a lot of people overlook it, just think they can throw their ads anywhere. You want to make sure that your website is exactly where your target market is searching. Do not place your website um, link, whether it's to a paid marketing or social media marketing, where your target market is not. Uh, it's, it's not a good sign. It's spammy. Uh, and it all starts with keyword research. And you know, I just touched on that. Placing your ad or offer in the wrong place is spammy. And those of you that are out here marketing for your, for yourselves or for you're doing this for your business owner client, don't put their ad in the wrong place. Uh, this gives the industry a black eye. And once you've found where to place your ads, you have multiple ways to get web traffic. So just to recap, starts with keyword research, find out where your target market's looking, and then uh, only place your ads where people are searching. And then here are the top ways to do it. You've got paid marketing, which is Google, Yahoo, Bing, uh, Facebook ads, solo ads, media buys, or you've got free marketing strategies, which is Facebook, Twitter, articles, videos, blogs. So those are your two avenues once you've found where to place your ad uh, is to use uh, these, uh, these tools here. And I'm going to give you an action step here. Uh, if you want to find uh, the exact target market, uh, Google keyword tool is what everybody talks about, but check out marketsamurai.com or longtailpro.com and find out exactly where you need to play, place your marketing message online. I found that these tools will be, can you can really narrow in on, on who, who, who and where you're looking for, where a Google AdWords tool will just show you what kind of traffic these sites are getting. So take that away. The next one is online branding. People buy from a person or a brand that they trust and respect. So make sure when someone is performing the due diligence on you before you make a purchase that you look like a leader in the industry. Uh, and a lot of and nowadays you've got you know Yelp and and Angie's List and all these other review sites. So uh, people are going to check you out whether on a review site, Better Business Bureau. Uh, but you can also create your own online branding um, through you know LinkedIn and through articles, videos, blogs. So even if you're brand new and you're saying, well, I don't have a brand yet, you know, leverage other people's content or industry related content until you are in a place to create in your own brand. So when I was starting out, I would, you know, find other content from Mashable or from other Internet marketers. And I just share their content on my Facebook and my Twitter and my LinkedIn because I was, I was getting some fresh and interesting content. I was starting to brand myself. Uh, as I grew into my, my position. So um, this applies to whatever business we're talking about here, whether you're doing this for a business owner that you're working with. So go in there and um, and leverage other people's or other people's industry related content until you can create your own. And then use Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and a blog page and YouTube, articles, press releases. Control your own brand online. I mean, it's great if you can get some great reviews on Yelp or Better, Better Business Bureau and all those things. But if you create enough content and it's on your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, blog, YouTube, you control your own online brand. You send out the message that you are a, uh, an expert or leader in your industry, whichever it is. And then be proud that you're in the internet marketing world. For those of you who are internet marketers and maybe not working with a business owner, uh, this is one of the top industries to be in right now. And I know some people shy away and, oh, my, internet marketing under their breath. You know, be proud of this. It's one of the best industries to be in. And then the action step uh, is on this one is to create and fully complete your LinkedIn profile, branding you as an expert, and then go ahead and get some recommendations on your LinkedIn account. So... That's the second step, um, you know, placement, online branding, and then leads to sales. You must have a sales funnel in place, whether it's a video sales funnel or an email sales funnel. And what that means is once you capture a lead, uh, they'll come through with a series of emails or a series of videos inside of an email or inside of a blog, building a relationship with that person. And you need to give, some, give something in return to get an email or phone number. 
uh, I'm just not going to, you know, give you my email or my phone number if you're not going to give me something. You know, it's just uh, people are looking for free things on the line online, and that's fine. You give them something free, you build a, re you connect with them, build a relationship. You can capture that lead with a free report or a webinar or, or, or some low cost item if it's a low entry, you know, $2.99, $9, get this, you know, free series or, or something. But you've got to give something for free or free or have them get someone on a webinar or a very low cost item. And that's how you capture a lead. Then you take them through that sales funnel, build a relationship with them through that funnel. Um, the only time I buy something right online is if I know the part number or if I want to buy a new, um, you know, a new laptop or something. I'll search the model number online. I can buy it. But when I'm wanting to buy a course or some training or some info marketing or something that I want, that someone, that some knowledge that I need, I need to get to have a good feel about them. So build a relationship with your series of emails through what you post on your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn blog. Build your relationship building all the way. And then provide a solution to their problem with the product or service that you're selling. So they've connected with you or your business for some reason, whatever, whoever you are watching this right now, they've connected with you. They've, they've wanted information from you. So they, they're looking for a solution to a problem they're having. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't have put their name and email address in to contact you. So provide that service or solution to that they're selling. And then remember, they are buying from you because you positioned or placed yourself where they were searching, then they look to you as a leader or expert in the field, which is online branding, and that you are a solution for their problems. And then that is when they ask for the, that, that's when you can ask for the sale. So create a sales funnel, brand yourself as an expert through the funnel, have an offer, and then don't be afraid to ask for the sale, but you must build a relationship first before you ask for the sale. And if you want to see a great job of, uh, of how you can capture emails and, and, uh, and uh, leads, um, get on the HubSpot's email list, HubSpot's blog email list. Um, I get their emails all the time, and they have free reports on all certain parts of this internet marketing world that I love. And I put my name and address in every single time. Uh, they, they, they ask it for it, and I've probably put my, my name in like five times or seven times already. So if you want to see a really good example of what I'm talking about to get a name or an email, get on that email list and watch how they do it. So I'm going to wrap up here. I want to thank you for your time. My name is James Hickey. You can contact me through two ways. One is sd-entrepreneur.com, or the other one is internetmarketingtrainingcenter.net. And there are links to both of these in the description on this video, or if you're seeing this on my video blog, there'll be links for there as well. So thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you on the web. Bye for now.